Hey guys, I'm back with a new video and I think it's been quite a while since I've decided to film a pink baggy video which is upside down. Um, actually, I have not opened my bag. I just received it yesterday and I'm barely going to literally open it with you guys. Um, again, just like the Walmart beauty box, it's just been crazy busy to get in a video up for you guys. So. I have continued with my Ipsy subscription. I just um, haven't had the time to just get an, a new one up. So I hope you guys enjoy this new video. This is July's Ipsy's July glam bag. And um, let's see what it has in store for us today. So this is the baggie. So very like Aztec or something. It kind of reminds me of. Um, so this is the baggie. It's kind of cute. I'm not too like obsessing over it, but it is cute. And let's see what it has inside. Wait, let's see if I had a theme because I didn't check for the theme. This month's theme is Summer Lovin'. And here it is, Summer Lovin'. And it has like a little contest, I guess, in the back. So, opening it up, the first item I'm pulling out and I'm seeing for the first time, you guys. It is an Eva NYC Freshen Up Dry Shampoo. So again, for those days that you don't wash your hair and you can just rub it and you're out the door, um, it is really good to maybe like not wash your hair every single day because it's healthy for your hair to have like that, it's natural oils. So for those days that you decide to, you know, if you have your hair straight, you straighten it for the day and why straighten it tomorrow if it's already straight in so you don't keep burning up your hair with so much heat, that, that's when dry shampoos come in handy guys. So. This is the Eva NYC dry shampoo. Um, they send a lot of dry shampoos on the Ipsy Glam Bags. And I haven't tried all the single ones that they've sent me. I've tried a few. But um, I don't know. Since I wish like, they would try other new stuff. Like They send so much dry shampoos all the time. And then the next one is the... I don't know how to pronounce the, the brand. It's the Brightening Serum. And it has... Um, vitamin C for bright luminous even toned skin and it is for all skin types let me show you what it looks like pure lit lise I don't know how to pronounce it in guys but um I like the fact that it's for all skin types because again I tend to go for the oil free products uh, and this one says to be your brightest use day and night after cleansing your face to further perfect follow with a pure protect SPF 30 so from the Walmart beauty box, you did have an SPF, so then adding it with this would be a good combo. So it'd be good to try out and see how that works. And then let's see what else they sent in today. Oh, they sent a lipstick. These I love to get. It's Read My Lips Lipstick by Tease Cosmetics. Can you guys see the brand? Tease Cosmetics. Let's see. Oh, and it's killing me softly, the color. I hope it's this actual color. It looks very pretty. It says it's eight hours long lasting, unique satin matte finish, and highly pigmented coverage. And I can't get it out. Oh, here it is. Ooh, la la. It's like a pen looking, kind of. And it smells really good. Oh, it smells really good. Let me try it on for you guys. I'm not wearing any color today. What do you guys think? The next one, it's the City Color HD Powder. I'm not going to open this because I don't want to get it all over, but this is what it looks like. The HD Powder. Uh, it doesn't really say anything about it. Uh it's okay. Again, they also send a lot of these little loose powders. I'm not too, too, too fond of them as highlighting highlighters or anything. Um, I tend to like better the ones that are more like creamy. I'll have to try that out. And then the last item is this. Ooh, it's a palette, a four quad. Nikak New York, and these are the colors. They're like nudes in a way like you can kind of create a smoky eye with these this are these are the colors 
there goes my little thing but um this is the packaging a little fancy 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 but um yeah so it was one two three four five items with this one and then the little baggie and that is it for the glam bag not too many i was mostly i think i'm mostly excited over the lipstick a lot like a lot i really like it and maybe the eyeshadows maybe but then again i really have nudes like a lot so i don't know i think it was just a lipstick that kind of got my attention but other than that it was okay um so hopefully now i will be able to kind of you know be back into rhythm with all this stuff so again like i mentioned in my last videos if you have any requests any video you want to see if you have any fashion videos any beauty videos any tags any challenges i don't know something you guys are interested to watch let, leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys want to see and i'll get to filming with you guys take advantage that i have like time in my hands guys that keep me busy like i love doing this and i have some ideas myself but i also want to see you know any requests you guys you guys might have let me know and i'll definitely get to them um so if again if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel um tell your friends if i to come over and watch my videos hopefully they'll be interested as well and like my video big old thumbs up don't forget and thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to follow me on my fashion blog at fashionista and the city .com. if you're not following me already so you can keep up with my latest outfit posts i need to get back on track with those two and my twitter at ashley underscore 24 and then Instagram, fashionista, and the city underscore. So make sure you follow me, social networks, YouTube, fashion blog, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.